Hello, I just wanted to inject this little bit of audio before the video begins. I would like to thank every single one of you out there who has subscribed to the channel. We finally made the big 2K. 2K! 2,000 subscribers. It seems some of my Hell Let Loose videos have got over 85,000. 85,000 views! That is incredible! It's a pity that 83,000 of you didn't want to subscribe. But I shouldn't complain because, you know, I should be grateful for the 2,000 subs I have got. I do know I'm not a fool, but when Hell at Loose finally comes out, I'll probably be lucky if I get 50 views a video. You're only here because a lot of you don't get your grubby little mitts or your boots on the ground in Hell at Loose. But I salute every one of you. Thank you very much. Let's continue with the video. Hello and welcome to another video from me, Box of Demons, and another Hell Let Loose instructional well not really an instructional video but another little creepy look behind the curtain on what those devs what have they been doing any up lads we can't wait anyway in this video we're gonna have a little little look and a little discussion on the building interiors of saint marie d'aumont yes this game is going for realism and many of you know i've played probably nearly every world war ii shooter available from here to the moon and back and Hell Let Loose is the one that really excites me the most. I'm a graphics whore. A whore! And yes, and by golly, the Hell Let Loose graphics are very, very immersive. And the attention to detail on only not just the environment, but on, on bushes and trees and the dirt and mud and everything else like that, I think is one step ahead of everybody else out there. So the devs have been updating the interiors when it comes to St. Marie Beaumont. And even from going back to the beta that was probably seven or eight months ago, the interiors of the buildings already felt like they were lived in and believable. There is a certain other World War II game that's out at the minute, no names, but some of their interiors and the buildings feel very blocky, very blocked out, and the interiors of those buildings are absolutely empty and lifeless. It's a shame because that game's maps are really quite beautiful and authentic to the T, as it should be. The interiors, it feels like you're almost playing another game. So on screen, you can see one of the shots here. There are tables overturned, there are papers on the floor, there are pictures knocked over, as if the residents or the people in these locations have got up and left in a hurry. Here's another one through the keyhole. As you can see, lighting in these areas is another key factor that I think this game is really going to stand out from the rest of the other games that are currently out there. Another one here again feels like this house was actually lived in and again it feels like they've just had to leave or go during the impending troops whichever side that was at they've gone and they've left including things in the kitchen there's frying pans there's cloth there's curtains ripped there's all sorts in here the devs are also going to be updating the lighting in a lot of these areas so there may be dark areas in the lofts, in the cellars and places like that where the enemy infantry could actually hide if you don't clear it properly. Another aspect that's going to be fantastic in these buildings is, as you can see here in this shot here, it's going to give the machine gunners and snipers a great place to be able to get overwatch. Now, if you weren't aware, in the first beta for this map, some of the control points were actually in open field. And it kind of killed it because everybody just stuck in the hedgerows around the outside. Well, we know that's been that's changed now from feedback from the community. And now strong points will be things like a building, a barn, or a church. So these are the kind of areas that a lot of players are going to be in, out, and fighting over. So that's why a lot of these have had that extra little touch of quality injected into them because these are the places we're going to be hanging around and fighting and dying in a lot of the time in the actual game. Here's another shot here. Looking from the downstairs to the bottom, and these screenshots are absolutely beautiful. And while there was certain areas in the last beta that I felt could do with a little bit more optimization, even on Hertzcombe Forest with its thousands of trees, it was completely playable in its current state. Here we are, here's another shot in the barn. Fighting in buildings will be a stark contrast to battling amongst trees and farmland, encouraging new tactics and brutal gameplay. 
When designing these interiors, the devs wanted to give you an area that felt natural, whilst being fun to fight in. And we hope the images they've shared with you here will go some way in showing what they've got in store for you. This is just the beginning for this game. There are flamethrowers and mortars and, oh, 14 different roles coming. And you can guarantee that Demon Actual, Box of Demons, your mate, will be on the battlefield covering this game. That's a little update on the updated lighted engine and a little bit of a look at the interiors. Like, subscribe and hit that ding dong. And I'll see you with boots on the ground in another video coming real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.